What's going on, everybody? It's Ezra from Afro Geographic. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video on here. You know, the truth is, editing sucks. So I said, let me just give the content straight to the people. Let me just come up here and just talk pure, raw, practically uncut, and for the most part, unfiltered. Today, what I wanted to talk about was the concept of being a champion. And not just from the standpoint of winning, but really from the standpoint of having a vision. And that vision becoming a driving force. And if you're in a team environment, that vision becoming the drum that everybody marches towards, you feel me? Like march to the beat of the drum? Yeah, that. Um, I was at a school recently and I was looking at all the trophies in the shelf. I was looking at like all the plaques on the wall, all the different sports that, you know, the school had won state championship for this year, that year, this year, that year. Basketball, track, football, soccer, cheerleading, softball, whole nine yards. And I was looking at the pictures of the people on the wall. And in that moment, they were immortalized because you could see not only had they just won something, but it was something that they had been fighting for for a long time. And it was something that it wasn't like easily attained. And because it wasn't easily attained, they had attached so much value to it that when they got it, you could see it in their face. And it's like in that snapshot, in that picture, you can almost feel with them how it feels to triumph on that level. You know what I'm saying? Like triumph at that level where it's like, this right here, I'm gonna cherish for the rest of my life. I'm gonna tell my kids about this. I'm going to like just cherish this, yo, forever. And that's a really a beautiful feeling. Like I've won a few things in my life um, but like, you know, science for competitions or whatever, stuff like that, some hackathons or whatever, but like, you know, some people when they have trophies, they have their mentality like, yo, I'm gonna keep those trophies in a box. You know, I'm not gonna look at them because then you'll get like complacent about kind of going after the next thing and you'll just be comfortable with what you have. I don't really think that's a huge issue. I think what's the most important thing is just have that vision in mind that you want to get and then like go and get it and that's so cliche but I think that a lot of the stuff in like our modern culture is about complacency and about going with the flow and not having a vision at all but the reality is if you don't have a vision for your life then you're just gonna be following somebody else's vision for your life and you have to ask yourself what that vision is and do you like the destination? And if you answer no to that question, then you have to wake up and you have to say to yourself, this is what I always wanted to do as a kid. You know what I'm saying? I wrote this poem and it kind of goes like this. Ever since I was a little boy, I would put my head up to the sky, close my eyes and try to fly. And then one day to my surprise, I began to rise. Now I'm floating through the skies. I have angels in disguise. Like when you accomplish something that you always wanted to do from a child, from your childhood, when you accomplish that, that's a sweet victory right there. That's an amazing feeling. And today, this is Afro Geographic. You know, this is about going and seeing things that you wanted to see, experiencing things, learning. It's about answering those questions that you've always had, but not just reading it in a book, but going and actually being there. Like, all those screensavers that you have on your laptop, like let's go to those places, you know what I'm saying? All the stuff that you see on television, let's go experience that. And that doesn't mean, you know, having a passport or getting on a flight. That could literally just mean going to a part of your town, a part of your neighborhood that you haven't experienced before and learning something, having, you know, a real moment, you know, connecting with people or the environment in a way that you know, it's authentic in a way that, you know, just bridges the gap. That's 
what Afrogeographic is about. That's why the slogan is let's go and see. You know, so much stuff, the information we get is second hand, third hand, fourth hand, fifth hand. But I'm trying to share first hand information. But most importantly, I'm trying to also motivate people to go get that first hand information themselves. And if you do that, yo, let me know. I'm always inspired to hear other people chasing their dreams as well. Because, you know, it's a beautiful thing when you're doing it together. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what, what I wanted to talk about, just like being a champion in everyday life and what that looks like. It first starts with having a vision of what you want. And then every day, if you take some steps to go get it, you go to sleep in peace knowing that, yo, I did my best. I left it all out there on the court. Yo, this is Ezra from Afro Geographic. This has been like, you know, a quick segment. I just want to come up here and show love. If you're watching this, yo, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this. Share with your friends. Let me know what you want to see next. I got a lot of cool stuff planned for y'all. If you come along with me on this journey, you will not be disappointed. Take care.